Yo, what is up, Brez? It is your boy, Guppy Boy 9 Fizzy and Brez. I am back at y'all with another figure review. And Brez, 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 Brez. You know, your boy had to go back and track down this beautiful kit. Because I know some of y'all are going to be like, yo, dog, this thing came out a while ago. Why are you just now getting around to, to reviewing it? I didn't have the time to pick it up. I'm going to keep it a buck with you. But I, I wanted to go back and get this re-release because I've had the first one, but I ended up selling off the, uh, the, like the body and keeping the head to it because I wanted to utilize it along with Sophia on some fights and bodies as y'all seen in the past and stuff like that. So, yeah. So, I had to go back. Thanks to my boy Cowboy off Macari. He hooked me up with this figure. Thanks to him, I was able to get my hands on this second version for an actual decent price. Because if y'all didn't know, these Sky Tube, these Sky Tube uh, kits and figurines and stuff like that, they go up way in price. And if y'all seen the first version of her, y'all will know this thing has done went up tremendously. Her and so, matter of fact, no, she's more than Sophia. Like, if you to look for the, the first version, you will literally. You're not finding her nowhere near under $200. She is like $200, $250. The first release of the kit. Now, the second release, you can probably find it for like a good decent price. And you can still find, barely get hurt because that one is slowly going up in price for like $120, $130. Same thing with the, um, with the, with the mommy girl. The, yeah, the, the, yeah, the mommy girl, the one that comes with a giant mommy case or like mommy droid or whatever it is. She's going up in price and Brez. Brez, th these things get expensive. I'm just letting y'all know they get expensive, but I was able to get my hands on her again. Thanks to my boy. So, yo, cowboy, shout out to you, man. Thanks for hooking me up with great figures. You are the guy. Now, as y'all can see, there is a lot going on with this kit. It was an amazing build. And I will admit that there is a couple of things that has been done differently than from what, what has been done on the... Well, I, I'll, take that, I'll take that lot back. There isn't much stuff that has been done on her that's differently from the first kit. The only thing that's different from this in the first kit is that she has a matte finish, whereas... The first, if, if I remember quite correctly, the first model kit had more of a gloss finish on the blue parts, like the blue, like the blue stockings, the gloves, all of that had more of a gloss finish, whereas this has more of a, of a matte finish now. Now, I will also say this, having this with the, with the first version, I have done had. I do got to go around and get like a second one because I've had some breakage with a couple of things, which is, is something to be expected because I've had it happen with the first one, too. Um, I kind of snapped the little the little thing. Uh, one of these right here that's on the back of her, uh, the thing that holds her little tentacles right here. I snapped like a little rod right here that goes up and, and around right there, as you can see. Yeah, I snapped that. And I kind of snapped like her high heels a half. So, yeah, I will say that the plastic on this second version, or at least on the version that I got, uh, it is a lot more fragile than the first version from what I remember. Because the only thing I kind of messed up on the first version was just, I want to say this, now I, this right was this right here. This was the only thing I messed up on the first version. Now, another thing that's kind of different from this in the first version is she comes with a little bit more different parts. Like, as you can see, she has open-toed feet on right there. The first version, she came with, like, toes that was kind of matched her, her like her, um, kind of like stockings. It was kind of like just, just you take her heels off. And she just has stockings on, but they gave you the option to put toes on her to have open toes. Also, there's an another thing that they gave you where she had like open knees, but 
I, I don't I don't have it on me right now, but it's kind of pointless because it's like you can see the flesh tone of her knees and stuff like that. And it's kind of pointless because you can't you don't have no kneecaps to put on it. You just have the little sh the little shin guards and stuff like that. So, yeah, you also get a which I don't know if this is which I don't I didn't get the kit, but she comes with this little extra piece right here. Which, if I remember correctly, the first version did not come with this. This is actually something that came with the third, the like the mommy um, model kit. The I don't know her name, but basically like the um, the Egyptian goddess uh, uh, anime uh, kit that they did with the mommy, with the giant mommy machine. So yeah, this actually came with her. Why they gave it the crackness, I don't know. And... That's pretty much it. That's all she pretty much. Oh, yeah. She comes with some forearms to replace some lower uh, for, some lower forearms to where you can replace the little shit, like the little arm guards. And she not have holes in her arms. She can just have her regular arm guards off. But that's pretty much it. That's the only differences. There really ain't that much of a difference. Well, there's still some differences. And you're going to see them when we get into accessories and stuff like that. Or, matter of fact, details. Which, I'm not even going to show it with accessories. I'm going to just show it like to you right now. As you can see with the OG version, this is the OG head sculpt. Versus, and I'll just bring in a new faceplate. The faces are done a little bit more differently. Whereas, she has white eyebrows on the new version, the old version... She has black eyebrows and that's pretty much, yeah, that's pretty much it. And there's a little bit more, um, there's a little bit more vibrant color. There's like a little bit more vibrant colors on the new version of the eyes compared to the old version. If you look at the detail of the eyes, pulling her forward so y'all can see. Yeah, the eyes are done differently. So there's little differences that's been done differently on this one. I want to say the hair is like still the same, but it has more of a of a metallic, vibrant, vibrant uh type of shine to it compared to the old version. But yeah, that's pretty much that's pretty much it. Other than that, she is pretty much the same. She still functions the same. And yeah, she's still a pretty dope freaking figure. After you get her built. And on top of that, we got the DX version. So she comes with a little bit of extra stuff that you can utilize with your figures in your collection. So we're going to check that out. So let's get into accessories. All right, Brez. Now, getting into accessories. Now, I'll be honest with you. I don't even know where to start off at. So, you know, I'm going to start off with the hands first. She comes, since it's the DX version, she comes with a, a, like a whole variety of different hands. She comes with two pointing fingers. Move her to the side right here. She comes with two pointing fingers. Right there, if you could see that. Two pointing fingers. She comes with two fist hands. Two relaxed hands she comes with two ahigal peace hands if you know if you know you know if you're cultured she comes with holding hands she comes with an extra set of widespread hands right there then getting over here into her dx version she comes with more hentai hands she comes with the I love you peace sign hands when she makes an ahigal face or uh, any type of lewd anime girl face. She comes with two thumbs ups. Then she comes with two hands doing the C to where she can make a heart sign. So, yeah, she comes with a variety of hands. Also, since this is the DX version, she comes with a lot more faces. She comes with a, a angry looking to the side face right there. 
She comes with a yelling, angry looking to the other side face. And I ain't gonna lie, I, li I kind of like these new faces a little bit better. You can kind of see the detail in them. She comes with a with a blushing, shy, well, I ain't gonna say blushing, like a shot face, but like a, a blushing face for anything that happens in an anime that you may know of an anime girl making a face like that. She comes with, I don't know what this face will be considered, but let's just say this is a, a, a power activation face. When really, it's not really a power activation face. It's actually from when she releases the rod on her opponents, which you're going to see that in a second. She comes with two extra pair of feet, which are the ones I had to super glue back together because I ended up breaking them. She comes with, as you can see, she has her regular chest right there where she has the little flap hanging over the front of her, of her boobs, as y'all can see. Now, since this is a hentai model kit, she comes with an extra set of Tigo Bitties right here to where you could display her without them without the thing over her chest then she comes with an extra set of soft tigo bitties right here as y'all can see they're squishy and you might have to super glue these on right to this little part right here because they don't really stay on all that well so you really have to glue that on but yeah you get a pair of silicone Tigo beaties right there. They're squishy. You can display that, that on her. Then you get an extra set of boobs to where you can put like the squid or the, the octopus or whatever it is to where it gets onto her chest. And she has two extra, these things right here that, can, that she can blast you with. And they don't really plug in all that much i don't know if i did something wrong but yeah she comes with an extra set of boobs to where she can form some robot boobs to hit you with a kamehameha or a final flash attack right there so yeah and she comes with an extra blank face for you to do whatever you want to do with your decals which i don't have those right now but she does come with with decals like water decal eyes and mouths and stuff like that to where you can kind of make your own face plate like every model kit and she has her hammer and the hammer is actually pretty cool you can do this is another thing you could do like she has these spikes on the hammer and you can actually remove those spikes to plug in the booby cannons right there into the hammer and you can have a booby cannon hammer a tigo bitty uh, a tigo bitty hammers uh blaster so basically yeah cuz yeah I don't know I don't even know what she's going to use that for and I don't know who she's going to use it on but yeah you can yeah we're going to call it that the tigo bitty hammer blaster I'm, I'm, you know what? I'm trademarking that. And for the extra piece that I got to make sure I censor correctly because it will get me struck down and demonetized, you get the rod or the extra, like the extra part of the squid that she comes with that wraps around her waist. And you can do. Pretty much right there. There goes the bottom of it. There's the sack or the back of the there's the back of the squid, which is if you can use your mind and you know what this figure is, you will know that's the sack. If you know what I mean by sack, then you know. Then there right there's the extra tentacles right here. Which I don't know why which yeah, those are the extra tentacles of the kraken. Because I'm a, a kraken is a squid, right? That's what they so like squid not not octopus so yeah so yeah that, this is like the the tentacles of the kraken and i don't know what the i don't know why 
Uh, yeah. There go the veins right there. The girth and all of that, as you can see, of what she comes with. And I don't know if she's a, if she's the, I don't know if, she, I, I don't only, I'm not even going to say that on camera, but yeah, basically they're not those type of anime characters, but they have these parts to where you can put them on the character. And I'll show how you utilize this right here. Removing her things right there. So you pretty much you dis disassemble her. And I took the I took the rod out because yeah, we can't have that on YouTube. I'll show you some Tigo Beaties, but I ain't finna show you no. I'm not finna show. I'm not finna show. I'm not finna go that far. I'll show the Tigo Beaties. But yeah, she the squid plugs around her waist like that, as y'all can see. Therefore, she can use this to drill somebody or something, which is what I'm assuming. Or blast somebody. I, I don't I don't know. I'll be honest with you. I really don't know. I don't know. I'll be honest with you. One thing I've noticed about these SkyTube characters. I don't know nothing about them. But they're really cool and have so many. They have really dope ass designs. That you just want to buy them. But I don't know the background of the lore too. I think they're just original characters. Because that's what Sophia. Because now that I think about. Like if the first Sophia figure that they did. She came with something like this. But. It's like instead of it attaching to her, it was like a dragon that was like her right arm and it had it had a it had pretty much it had a penis. <laughs> it, it, it had a penis for a tongue. So yeah. It had a penis for a tongue and you could pretty much plug it in front of her to where she could wear the penis. So basically these these figures come with strap-ons, basically. <laughs> they come with strap-ons. I'm just gonna give it to you raw. I ain't gonna be no. I'm not gonna censor anything. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna be scared to say to say certain things. I'm just gonna be honest with you. They they pretty much come with strap-ons, and that's pretty much what these are. So yeah, she comes with that. I know the the mummy comes with one too. And Sophia comes with one, but I didn't get the DX version of Sophia. I'm going to go back and I'm going to backtrack that. Now, now that we got her accessories all out the way, and as you can see, it was a lot of them. And before we close this off, I'm going to hop into the next segment. I'm going to show you these faces side by side. Now, this is the old face versus the new face. If y'all can see them. So you can kind of see the differences like the old face has like darker eyebrows and darker eyes where the eyes are a little bit more vibrant along with the eyebrows on the newer faces. So they did do some changes on these figures. They they did some updated stuff on them, which is actually dope. But in all honesty, I would really like to see SkyTube and not just SkyTube, but Kotobukiya as well. I would like to see these guys release actual figures like i would love to have this like to have this uh the crackiness right here i would like to have this figure in actual figure form and not just a model kit i would buy it her sophia and uh the mommy princess or goddess and also just like the other ones just like any model kit you can swap the heads around so yes sophia's head can swap on to her body just like so, as you can see. So, yeah, moving on into articulation. Okay, getting on into articulation. So, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to utilize this while it's separate. As you can see, she has all kinds of articulation with her backpack, which I don't know what this is. Well, actually, yeah, this is like her backpack, the thing that she uses, her extra tent, her like her tentacles or something like that which I'm going to show y'all on the booklet. She basically kind of 
I guess uses those as like extra arms to attack and stuff like that, as y'all can see from the designs. And yeah, so she has articulation. The whole thing articulates it and it's going to fall apart too. But yeah, it can swivel, turn, all of that. Turn right here. The things can rotate. And these things right here can also be used as swords. So you can have her display with these as swords. She can use these as her swords. Also, the skirt is articulated. This goes all around. And yeah, I'm kind of going to be all over the place trying to review this because I don't know how to pretty much des to describe all of this. But yeah, she can extend the tentacles and they have a little blade right there to where she can reach out and slash somebody with the arms without having to use the Tigo Bitty hammer, cosmic blaster. And that's pretty much it. Like all the arms extend and they all rotate and stuff like that. Now, getting that out the way, let's get into the actual figure itself. The head is on a ball joint, as you guys can see. She can look back that much. She can look forward that much. If y'all can see that. She can, matter of fact, her arm goes out that much. She can hit a T-pose. She has a bicep swivel, which the arms are kind of tight. They're kind of tight when it comes to uh, actually rotating. I know this one can kind of rotate a little bit. She has single jointed at the elbows. She has a ball peg at the at the uh, wrist. And the arms do pop out easy like so. She has like a like a um a butterfly joint from the back, as y'all can see. Like that. She can reach forward. Like I said, the arms pop out real easy. So she can reach forward easily like that. And she got an ab crunch to where she can ab crunch that far, using utilizing the higher ab crunch. Now the lower ab crunch, she can go that far, and she can lean back this far, like that. She can look, she can kick up that much, double jointed knee, thigh swivel right there. And she can have a, no, she does have a, um, a toe hinge. She has a toe hinge and she has a ankle rocker. So yeah, she has articulation all over. She's very articulated. And on top of that, just to show y'all, bruh, I just popped that off. Show y'all how to interchange the Tigo Bitties. And damn, this is really okay. There we go. So, as you can see, we in took off the Tigo Bitties. It comes apart like so, right there. Here she is without her breast. And we're going to plug this back in right here. And here we go with this is the soft version. As you can see, there's pegs on the back and there's holes right there on the chest. And you plug it in like so. Now you got her with Tigo Bitties. You got her Tigo Bitties out. And yeah, I want to say the DX version of Sophia also came with some, but they was kind of disappointing compared to um to the Kraken. Which I, I got, which they actually have names. I, I don't remember her name. I want to say her name is like. Okay, the first one was is the Dragoness, and her name is Sophia. This one, I want to say her name is Elena, or not Elena, not not Elena, but Elaine or something like that. So yeah, and I'm gonna change these back because I don't want YouTube to be crying. But yeah, that's pretty much it for articulation. Now. Getting into size comparison. Okay, getting into size comparison. It's only right that I put her next to her first counterpart, which is not her official counterpart. It's actually her on a Fison body. 
So, yeah. Here she is next to Sophia. The Dragoness. And here she is next to another Fisons, because why not? Here she is next to the Bay, the OC character, Naname Mizuki. And by the way, yo, I'm thinking about doing a video to show y'all how to give your Fison bodies BBLs. Because I've really been studying, I like I've really been studying how to do this lately. So, yeah, as y'all can see, I gave Naname a BBL. If you know what that means. And compared to most Fisons. Or as y'all can see. So yeah, if y'all if y'all actually want that video to see how to do that to make your anime, your the bodies for your anime girls a little bit more thicker, then yes, let me know in the comment section. Cause I just want to let y'all know I gave I gave my Fison body a BBL breast. Your boy, your boy is your boy is really learning how to do some some real deal modifying and customizing up in here, bruh. And that is shout outs to my boy Toy Sur like Toy Surgeon. He told me he gave me the idea and he showed me how to do it. So yo, shout out my boy Toy Surgeon. So yeah, we finna have some BBL fights and bodies up in here, bruh. So if y'all are not content with with the regular size that you get with your fights and bodies for the for the anime for the anime baddies that you want to make or any or just any type of customs that you want to do you want to you want to add uh so a little bit more weight and meat to the to the figure to make them a little bit more thicker just let me know i will show y'all in the next video how to do that if you guys are interested so yes we are moving up in the world brass so okay, getting to the next size comparison. I kind of got sidetracked there. Here she is next to, in my opinion, one of the best bootlegs to ever be made. Here she is next to the CT Toys, to the CT Toys, uh, Spider Man twenty ninety nine. I literally almost forgot his name for a second. <laughs> Here she is next to an SH Figuarts Spider Gwen. And move that to the side. Here she is next to a knockoff second axe body with a 30 minute sister's head on it that I'm kick bashing. And she looks real good next to her. Also, here she is next to horse booty. Another pair of Tigo biddies that we love here in the guppy verse because yes, we like our waifus thick and we don't discriminate. So here she is next to Centaur Booty. And like always, she is tall as hell. And you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna try this. I'm a matter of fact, it's not even gonna work. I was gonna do a head swap. But I probably can. Hold on. So I can't do a head swap. I could probably do a torso swap to show y'all how this works. A torso swap. So I'm going to just let y'all know. Bear with me. It doesn't go on all the way, but if you are creative and you know how to and you know how to customize model kits and swap parts and stuff around. You can make it happen. So, yeah, there you go. See, I do it for my breads. I do it for my breads. I got I, I to let y'all I got to let y'all know how to do these things. I got to let y'all know what it is y'all can do with your figures. Also, here she is. Let me let me put her back the back together. Back here. Here she is. Next to the best Catwoman figure to ever be made. I don't care what nobody says. Here she is next to the waifu of all comic book characters. And that is 
once I get her to stand. That is Catwoman. And Catwoman actually is kind of taller than her. But then again, I kind of got the flat feet on her. But yeah, Catwoman is taller than her. And on top of that, this Catwoman actually does fit in. If you're world building, you can fit her in with anime characters. And what I mean by anime characters, I mean like your snail shells and stuff like that. Because here she is next to a snail shell waifu, the tall sister. And as you can see, yeah, that Catwoman really does fit in quite perfectly. Also, here she is next to... I'm, just, I'm looking through the, the thing and I can't find nothing. Here she is next to another waifu right here. Who's still mad at me because she didn't get the number one spot for figure of the year over the assassin. But yes, here she is next to those two and they stand taller than her. Also, here she is next to. A second axe figure. Right here. And of course, the second axe figure stands taller than her. Also, here she is next to the other waifu, Toppy Gal. Who's balling in her Jordan 4s. Right here. And, bruh, they ripped. Bruh, oh my God. Her shoe, her shoe ripped. But, yeah. I guess I'm going to have to just put the regular feet on her then. But, yeah. Here she is next to Toppy Gal, which Toppy Gal stands taller than her. And that's pretty much kind of it. Well, no, hold on. I'm, I'm tweaking. I'm tweaking. I'm tweaking. I still got more figures, Brass. I still got more figures. As y'all can see. So, here she is next to... A metal slug figure right here with a Ravetta head or Valletta head. And Valletta actually stands around the same size, just a tad bit shorter. Here she is next to a, and let me just go ahead and swap these around. Here she is next to a casual outfit of your Forager, which I just started the Spy X family uh, season, and I'm actually loving this character. Even though I'm on like episode three. Yeah, I love this character. She's dope. And here she is next to the first uh sh figure arts your third uh forager who i said is i ain't for a lot of y'all yo your is milf bruh this is milf material so and while we at it i'm gonna just let this be known right now if y'all want to see a review of the casual outfit of your please let me know in the comments i'll let y'all know i mean well no nah, i ain't gonna let y'all I'll, I'll actually do the review if y'all want to see this figure, but yeah, there she is next to that. And here she is last but not least next to a Roman key body right here with a play max assassin or guilty, uh, guilty crown princess head on. So there you go. Now, with that being said, that's pretty much it for size comparison. This is a dope model kit. If y'all actually want to get her, go get her. She's dope. And she is fun to play around with. And, oh yeah. Here she is next to Sophia, the Figma, 
So yeah, she looks dope with she she looks dope next to Sophia. So there goes our our actual Sophia that we all love as well. So yes, this is a dope kit. If y'all do not have this, I recommend you go pick it up before she gets like two hundred and fifty thousand dollars in price, <laughs> because these do go up, especially since the fact that they're hentai figurines or like hentai model kits and they come with like all kinds of lewd parts and stuff like that that collectors be solely like sought after and stuff like that so yeah if you are into th like these type of kits and you want this kit and you want this character it, like just put all the other stuff aside if you just like the design of the character and you want this kit i recommend you go pick this up before she is too expensive in price because well, they did a re-release, but she might not get a third. She might not get a third re-release. So, yeah. If you want this character, go pick her up. And don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And thank you, Brez, because y'all make this channel so much fun to do. So, yeah. I will let y'all know that this has been fun to do. I love you guys. You guys are amazing. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe again. And I will catch you guys next time.